This is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Slaughter. We also have a Action Force Valiverse version of Sergeant Slaughter in this outfit too or this configuration and majority of the kit bashed versions on YouTube or in YouTube actually is in this configuration and sometimes it's just tiresome to always have the same thing over and over again so that's the reason why I kit bashed my Action Force Valiverse Sergeant Slaughter so head is Action Force Valiver Sergeant Slaughter body is G.I. Joe classified series rock and roll the man briefs the pistol belt and the legs those comes from G.I. Joe classified series Tiger Force Outback we just took out the tattoos with acetone extra strength which you could buy at Walmart the whip comes from double i sergeant slaughter wwe figure and i just transferred this from my action force valovers um sergeant slaughter the um kit bashed or makeshift whistle of course sergeant slaughter has to have a whistle okay so he has a gun belt on this time he has a weapon a sidearm a med kit a water bottle and a communication device so something different something functionable <laughs> instead of having a sergeant slaughter that does not have anything actually so it's just weird if you uh, put on a rifle or anything or make him um, hold on to a machine gun and it's just bare so but rather have a gun belt on this guy and of course a very tight shirt military shirt so this body why i chose this body because it's nicely beefed up so really complements the character so with the legs the legs are also very beefed up and they are long so, so actually increases the height of the action figure just a little bit okay so second reason why i kit bash this action figure aside from being too just too tired of having the same design was to make use of the action force sergeant slaughter body to make another action figure so to make another rambo action figure so instead of searching online and once again doing pre-orders and whatever and spending a hundred bucks i'd rather kit bash figures and play with it okay so of course we have extra heads of jaijo classified series quick kick so just painted the bandana green and we added a little bit of my preferred paint <laughs> something you could buy at walmart so this is just simple so just apply a little bit of after painting the bandana green just apply a little bit of clear nail polish so the green paint is not going to chip off so course nothing really fancy just a sharpie and once the sharp uh, green sharpie color dries just apply a little bit of nail clear nail polish so i also place a little bit of clear nail polish on the hair so it's going to look wet and for the face and the arms we placed a little bit of stencil so it doesn't look clean so he looks muddy dirty or possibly been um, in the jungle so scrolling around or digging around the bush okay so just basic knife ammunition pistol well of course 
Um, you could put whatever pistol that you want on the figure if you wish. So I just want a Action Force Valover's pistol on that side. A knife from G.I. Joe Classified series as to which figure I already forgot. So just glued it on the belt that way sideways so it's not going to interfere with articulation of the action figure because my goal is really just to have a nice articulating figure so just basic so less of the tactical stuff that we are used to nowadays with action figure vests and helmets and everything sometimes it's just nice to play with an action figure like this basic because the other one that i made well this looks really fancy so it's more of a coffee table piece and you have this on a stand or a rotating base so well you could play with it but because of the soft goods material after playing you have to really fix it so with this you don't have a problem with regards to um fixing stuff is just play and pose and take pictures and going back to the new sergeant slaughter my 2.0 sergeant slaughter actually i mixed and matched the neck piece and the neck joint so i found the right combo of neck and neck connector piece that's going to be compatible with the figure so it's going to have proper height and of course great articulation points so just enough clearance on the neck that we could move the neck to poses that we want okay so let's go back to the review table oops and before we go back to the review table here's another tip or trick in kit bashing a sling for your action figure okay so of course You've got your elastic pull, which you could buy at either Amazon or Walmart. Okay, so take your weapon of choice for your action figure with a drill. So two holes on the near the hand. The possibly the barrel or something so yeah so it's almost near the barrel where I made that hole let's see. Let me confirm okay so it's near the barrel actually okay and at the bottom of the stack okay so just experiment with the proper length that you need so of course after making two holes so just make a knot like this and with a lighter just burn the extra piece like that so when you pull it close to the buttstock or the handguard of the weapon actually it disappears and blends in perfectly and that's the proper length for the action figure and if you want to put it on the action figure and as i, I demonstrated earlier or uh, you have seen earlier that it is really riding close to ba the body not like this wherein it's there's enough um, space that it's going to dangle around just this is the trick actually by doing that knot so cinch it tight and just tuck it in on the other side of the weapon system there you go so you could pose your action figure with a weapon that is close to the body the back or the front or the torso of the action figure and it's not going to play around it's going to stay in place 
So just a quick 360 of my Sergeant Slaughter 3.0 and a simple action pose of my Rambo 2.0 action figure utilizing a quick kick head unit or head scalp. So fire for effect. Yeah. <laughs> so that's actually what you want when you have an action figure it's the play it's not about having always the latest and the greatest and having lots of pre-orders because i'm just way too tired of new action figure news and all of them are pre-orders i'd rather have an action figure that i could hold and play with so if you like this review like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review